Greeks in Egypt. But uh, let's agree on something because we divided it into two parts. First, we will tell you what the law says, okay, and then what the society really do. I mean, how far uh, the, the law materializes in the Egyptian society. Because there is a great distinction between law or religion and culture. People don't follow actually the law or religion. So when it comes number one to employment, the law, for example, like gives us equality in everything, equal salaries. Um, sorry, oh, I want to tell you something. We take like for maternal care, we take uh, three months, which is pretty good. And if a woman gets pregnant or something, she can take a uh, vacation and it's paid. And uh, if a woman is breastfeeding, she takes like two years open vacation and it's paid. This is what the government gives us. So we already like took our all our rights and there is like quality and everything. Uh, okay. It's well, unpaid. Unpaid. It's for two years. Unpaid. Two years is unpaid. But the three months is paid. Three months is paid. Two years is unpaid. Okay. When we come to our culture and society. Actually, usually, um, uh, people don't prefer to hire women because they are afraid of their commitment. Because, uh, as you know, that in our society, still marriage is important, and they usually say, oh, the woman, you will get married, and you will be busy, you will not be committed, you will leave us after a year. So, they usually afraid of women's commitment, commitment, so they usually ask in interviews, are you single, are you married, are you planning to get married soon? So, this is... How it goes. Yes, yes. And I mean, so I mean, has also experienced this. Although she's working for a multinational in Egypt, I mean, during two interviews of her work, they interviewed her what's her marital status and if she is planning to get married and have children. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for example, when we talk about education, again, the law uh, doesn't like. Uh, this encourage education or anything, we are all allowed to educate and everything, even in religion it's a duty for a woman to get education, not like a normal right. But let's talk about what happens in society, in the rural area, especially in Egypt, either two things happen, either uh, the women actually get married at a very low uh, age, like 14, 15, 18, so they have to leave their education, uh, or they don't get education at all. Please, they have this mentality like why, why, what she will do when she is educated. But actually, um, honestly, it's it's fading away. Everybody is getting educated now, but still, people has this mentality in rural areas. Also, um, okay, so that's about education. Even the high class people, like uh, they let you get educated, higher school and bachelor degree, but also that's it. They don't like spend more money on for you to get masters or PhD or like that, they usually the man has the priority in this, in the family, like a brother and sister. Um, okay, anything else for this question? Uh, we have here some very interesting statistics of the income of the World Bank. Uh, lately, data was collected from 2000 to 2006. And we have some reports about literacy rates, about education and about employment. So starting by illiteracy. Uh, as you can see, Egypt is one of the countries with a very high illiteracy female rate, so it's ranked second after Morocco. Uh, so, can I add something to you? Sure. I mean, the, 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 uh, the average, I mean, like the, the number of the, the percentage of illiteracy in Egypt is around 42 or 45 percent. So, what do you mean? I mean, the to for the total population. So when it is now from for females in the age of 15 to 24, it's only 18 percent. I mean, through the past 15 years, I mean, the percentage has dropped from 45 percent to 18 percent. You know what I mean? Literacy. Let I mean, this is this is illiteracy. I mean, but mainly literacy rates. Yeah, illiteracy is uh, being able to write and read. So I mean, in, in just f in 15 years, it dropped from 45 percent to 18 percent. So it's worth mentioning. You mean illiteracy is being not able to <coughs> not being able to read the Okay, yeah. Illiteracy yeah. 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 literacy is. Can you ask? Can you ask? Can you see? Besides, yeah. 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 um, here's another graph. But illiteracy, so the numbers are the other way around. So basically, the urban population are a bit more. Like, the literacy rate 
rates are much higher. So as you can see on here, in the urban population, it's more than 70 or 80 percent. The real problem with illiteracy basically occurs in the rural areas, where people are either against education because of their traditions or whatsoever, or they don't really want to invest in their, their female education, thinking that before marriage, the, the dad will always pay for the kids and take care of her, and after marriage, the husband will be doing this, so it's not really worth investment. Um, going back to the education, as you can see here also, uh, the, depending on the region, the male to female education uh, percentages are quite variable, and we still have the problem in upper, uh, upper and rural Egypt, and it decreases uh, gradually as we go to the urban population. Um, for, as for employment, this is a division per governorate in Egypt, uh, depending on the percentage of women labor, of course. So, from Bahira, for instance, Bahira is in uh, Delta. We have the highest uh, percentage of labor, and here we just need to highlight something that some women actually do jobs like uh, farming or agriculture or stuff like that. They're not really paid for it, so it's not considered to be a job. I mean, like if a family has got a piece of land or they have got some cattle, I mean, the women is very, it's very, very acceptable and very common that a woman just does the farming work or the taking care of the cattle, <coughs> but it's not considered as job as much as if it's their own asset or it's just like a part of housework. So this is why it's not. I mean, like Fayoum is a very agricultural, agricultural uh, governorate. And that percentage is only 11%, which I, is, I mean, highly doubt that the thing is, they do the job, but they don't get paid for it. That's why it's, it's not a real job. And finally, for the wages, uh, unfortunately, in the jobs, the female uh, who do the same job get much, more, much less money than the males. So, here on this uh, chart, it shows that it's almost the females get almost 25% of the, the wages of the males doing the same job. And that's it for education. Yeah, for those of you guys who are interested in like more statistics in the, the Arab region or in the Middle East, we do have like a detailed like statistics that shows like the education and the employment, and at the same as the politics side. So I, I, can, I can send you like the statistics in one sheet on like in a presentation or something like that.